Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock, it's time for a Magic Live. Now today I'm gonna to be performing a routine called the Elimination Experiment. This was published by uh, Cosmo Magic. It's a Kyle Purnell routine. Uh, it's a really nice kind of mashup between magic and mentalism, and uh, it's a really fun packet trick as well. I absolutely love it. Uh, have a look down here and I'll show it to you. Um, I also have Sarah behind the camera. Hey Sarah, how you doing? Hey. Uh, would you like to see the difference between magic and mind reading? Sure. The difference between somebody like Dynamo and somebody like Darren Brown? Okay. Okay. I'm going to show you the difference. Now, I have here cards, and you can see that I've drawn symbols on them. Yeah. Now, the symbols that I've drawn on them are ESP symbols. Now, mm -hmm. uh, the reason I hand drew them is because I'm not a mentalist. I do not own a set of ESP cards. ESP, by the way, stands for extrasensory perception. I had to Google that to find out. I'm not a, 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 a mentalist. However, I think I can show you a little bit of mentalism if you'd like to see that, yeah? yeah. Um, but but I've, hand, I've hand made these cards. There's, there's five altogether. There's a, a cross. Uh, there's some wavy lines. There's a star, uh, a square, and a circle, five all together, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to think of one of those symbols. Can you think of one of those symbols for me? Uh, okay. wh what I want you to do is think of the one that you want to eliminate. We're going to eliminate one of those symbols. I want you to think of the one that we're going to eliminate. Now, there's no clever wordplay here. When I snap my fingers like this, you're going to name your symbol, and whichever symbol you name, we are going to eliminate it. So which symbol would you like to eliminate? Name it now. The cross. The cross. Now, are you sure? You can change your mind if you want to. The cross is this one right there. Would you like to change your mind or are you happy? No, I want the cross. You want the cross. We're going to get rid of the cross, yes? Yes. Okay, and that was your choice. Yeah. Now, I'm going to put the cross in my little shelf underneath the table. Um, uh, I'd normally put it in my pocket if I was standing. I'm not standing, so I'm going to put it down there. And um, you obviously had a free choice. You could have had anything. Yeah. If I told you ahead of time I knew you'd pick the cross, would you believe me? No. No, I really did. I really didn't know that you picked the cross because I didn't show you the other side of these cards. And actually written on the other side of the cards is a message. It says, you'll eliminate the cross, <laughs> which is pretty wacky, really, when you had a completely free choice. But there's a rule, But that, that's what a mentalist would do. A mentalist would predict the future. I'm not a mentalist. I'm a magician. I would do things very, very differently. That's how I do things, very, very differently. So I'll try and do the same thing again. We've already eliminated the cross, so the cross isn't there. We'll do it a different way. Uh, there's four cards here. Give me a number, one, two, three, or four. Three. Are you sure? Yeah. So one, two, three is that one right there, yes? Yeah. Can you just have a look at that for me? Can you see what the symbol is? Can, can the camera see yeah, what the symbol is? Yeah, can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Very good. I'm just going to put it back here. Now, obviously, I've got no idea what that symbol is. I really don't know. Um, but I'm going to try and eliminate it. This is how a magician would eliminate your symbol. Are you ready? Yeah. Done. In actual fact, magicians always go one step further. I didn't eliminate your symbol. Your symbol was this one, wasn't it? The circle. Yeah. I didn't eliminate your symbol. I eliminated every other symbol on the cards. And you can examine everything. There you go. That is the elimination experiment. It's a fantastic trick by Kyle Purnell. Now you can get the um, you can get the non handmade cards uh, as a as a trick. It was marketed through Cosmo Magic. The second phase that I did in that, by the way, is not in the original instructions. Uh, the second phase, Kyle went into detail on his latest at the table, uh, not at the table, that's Murphy's, uh, at Penguin Lecture. So on his latest Penguin Live Lecture, uh, Kyle went into the handling of actually how to how to do that second phase. Um, you can have it end by just having all the cards turn blank if you want to. So there's lots of different options with this. Uh, it's highly recommended. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back again tomorrow with another Magic Live. I'll see you.